Hi. Uh, this is uh, uh, Dr. Schweinsgruber uh, from uh, Audio Budget uh, Canada again. Um, and uh, as always, I'm out of fidelity. And uh, today we are taking a look at the, where the heck is the camera, at the Swing IE800 earphones, which are a clone of the Sennheiser IE800 uh, earphones, uh, which cost, the, the real ones cost $800. The single uh, driver uh, earphones, I guess $800 means uh, number 800. But these clones, uh, they uh, cost only $12.50 US dollars. And I hope it, when this is posted, that there's a, sh a link, a shopping link where you can buy this because there's only a single place in the world where you can buy these and they're $12.50. Now, um, they come here, they come in a nifty little uh, box container. It's sturdy, it's nice. Then we take them out. Um, you see that they're not tangling up whatsoever. They're, they're really nice hanging down, nicely hanging down. They're not, uh, not uh, at all um, tangling. So it's a very good, uh, very uh, uh, well working uh, cable just to show them to you. So these, I had these, I had these for half a year, these earphones for half a year. And these are my favorite budget earphones and nobody ever has um, reviewed them. So I'll just show them to you. Um, no, like this, no. Like this, okay. So you don't really see much, but these are essentially have the same housings as the Sennheiser IE800. It just cost like a five hundredth of the price or something like that. So this these earphones, as I said, I had the half year. They are my favorite, my favorite cheap earphones. And in fact, these earphones are actually so good that I think that they live up to the. $100 Sennheiser in-ear momentum, so the, although these are clones and they're fakes. Um, so, um, as I said, the cable is, is a really, nicely, really nicely done cable, the standard length, a very high quality adapter with metal, it's very sturdy. Um, it's got a, a single button remote which works with both Android and uh, I, I, so Apple um, ecosystems. Uh, the housing is, is really nicely, um, nicely uh, polished metal, very, very, very well uh, crafted, and uh, uh, the fit of these is also outstanding because obviously it was, it was designed by uh, Sennheiser, which is uh, probably the most competent earphone and headphone company in the world. So nothing fancy comes with a whole bunch of um, of. Um, um, rubber tips. I use my own. I always use my own uh, uh, third-party ones. Um, now these um, these earphones. Why why do I like them so much? Why I, I wrote a lot in a commentary, uh, in the commentary section of um, of uh, other um, of websites um, uh, dealing with earphones. Why do I like them? Well, I like them because they really sound great independent of price. Many people say, uh, many reviewers say, these sound really good for the price, but uh, the ear doesn't know the price usually. And, uh, uh, you know, there's a, a $3 earphone is, uh, you know, it doesn't sound good because it costs $3, but these cost $12.50. And independent of price, uh, they are very, very good sounding. And in fact, there's one guy who said he had the real thing, he had the real IE800s and they sounded the same. So I don't know that I, I don't know the real eight, uh, IE eight hundreds, but if you if if they sound like an eight hundred dollar earphone, then I would say you just buy them and try them out. I would say these are a no brainer, and they are they should be in every single household. So now, what makes them what makes them sound good? So the bass, well the bass is uh, well the bass is you know the bass there is enough bass. The bass is reasonably contained. It's not the driest bass, but the bass is just fine. You have to shove these things really deep into your ears to get the right uh, the right fit and the right uh, sound. Um, and the highs, these these earphones are very very um, they're very very uh, bright. So that's what they are. They're very bright, and therefore the the treble are of course also bright. And uh, some people may not like that because they think it's piercing. I don't think I'm very sensitive to piercing. I don't think they are piercing. But uh, you don't want to use them for heavy metal. You want to use them for very sophisticated music. For instance, jazz and classical music, these earphones are unbelievable. 
They're unbelievable, even in comparison to more expensive, much more expensive brand name earphones. And the reason because is because, and that what makes an expensive earphone over a cheap earphone is the mids. These mids are present, they are lively, uh, there's a huge sound stage with a great instrument separation. Um, um, the sound is um, open, it's airy, it's bright. Uh, you feel like you're inside a concert hall, a great sound stage. They sound naturally refined and uh, as I said, they are really good for, um, for um, the more complex uh, music in life. Um, now, 1250, that sounds almost too good to be true. So how do they compare to other earphones? Like in the same price range, here we have the Rock Zircons versus here the, um, the Swings. Now the Rock Zircons are very highly hyped uh, on the internet. In fact, they're so highly hyped that I have two pairs for myself, my wife has them, and I have to say, compared to the Swings, these uh, Zircons are vulgar. If you like techno, if you like bass, yes. But the Zircons, they, they really fall off in terms of mids. If you want to get a female jazz singer, if you want to get a Tracy Chapman, these things are fabulous and the Zircons are cheap. The same price. So, um, then here we've got some, they are more expensive. These are the Mempt X5. These are also highly hyped on the internet and these have a, a great bass, but they cannot compete with these things in terms of sound stage, in terms of mids. Here they, and, and I find them fatiguing after a while. And the same with the Rock Zircons, they're both fatiguing. But these ones here, are, these ones, they are just absolutely um, amazing. Not for not for uh, for punk music, but for sophisticated, uh, complex uh, music. So as I said, I had them for half a year. For me, when I use these, they're almost a treat. And what I also got, you see this? These are a few earphones um, I purchased over the last uh, the same period of time in the last since last October. And these swings stand out, and they're cheaper, cheaper than most, and most of, of their competitors. So um, I, I I recommend I recommend to to get to get some of to get a pair of these, um, even if you have 500 more uh, 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 pairs. And you may also that's the ones you buy for your mom and dad for Christmas for your granddad. Uh, uh, people who like a mature sounding, naturally sounding earphone, I think everybody, nobody should leave the house without, without them. And, and, and again, here, that's the one swing IE800. And uh, you've, I hope at the time this is being released, you find a link at the bottom here uh, how to buy them. Otherwise, I just put them in the caption somewhere. That's it, folks. See you next time. Dr. Schweinsgruber.